In this video, we are going to show you how to assemble a standard beam bridge with railing from fiber line. The dimensions of the bridge we are going to build in this video are 6 by 2 meters. The assembly principles are the same even if your bridge project has other dimensions. Make sure to follow the included drawings. To assemble the bridge, you only need the shown hand tools. Rubber hammer, hand drill, impact wrench, torque wrench, glue gun, fork wrench, rivet gun and rivets. We recommend that you follow local health and safety requirements. The received delivery is packed compactly. Make sure that you have enough space to assemble and move the bridge. Fiberglass composite profiles are low in weight and can be easily carried and moved. All the profiles for the bridge are pre-machined when delivered. For each bridge, individual drawings are included in the box. Make sure to follow the drawings and the detailed working instructions. Start the assembly process by bonding the short connection tubes into the parapets. In the box, you will find two different square tube adapters. The one without print is used as a spacer in the parapets. The one with 55mm print is used to position the connection tubes. Push this adapter into the parapet. The connection tubes have two different lengths. The larger one is used for the parapets in between the corners. The smaller one is used for corner parapets. Apply adhesive in the spacer as shown. Since this is a parapet for mounting in between corners, press fit the larger connection tube and use the 55mm adapter for exact positioning. For the corner parapets, use the same procedure and use the smaller connection tubs. Repeat this process for all parapets. The next step is assembly of the railing infill. Start by applying adhesive in the drill holes. Push the tubes in the holes and if necessary, tap the tubes with the rubber hammer. Close up the infill with the upper part. The infill can now be bonded to the pre-assembled parapets. The rail construction is still very light and can be lifted and moved around. Follow the drawings and assemble the rest of infill and parapets. Assembling of the substructure. Start by placing all main beams on a flat surface at the distance indicated on the drawing. Gather all the tools you will need to assemble the substructure. Start the assembly by attaching the steel angle brackets to the transverse beams as shown here. Use grease on the bolt threads. Repeat this process for all transverse beams. Then bolt the square tubes to the main beams. Work outwards from the middle of the substructure. When you get to the edge U profiles, the railing must be mounted through the holes in the parapets and the steel angles. Assembly of the railing. Start by applying adhesive in the corner infills. Lift the whole parapet with infill and use the included bolts for mounting as shown. Repeat this process for the next infill and use straps to apply pressure while the adhesive sets. Make sure to minimize the gaps. Tighten the bolts with the impact wrench. Bond the small square tubes for hiding the cross section of the plank. Use the included end caps to close the square tubes. Installation of the deck. Start by placing the plank on the substructure one at the time. Use the supplied clips for fastening the planks. Follow the tightening instructions and do not over tighten since it may deform the clamp or damage the GRP. Repeat this procedure until you have covered the whole deck. Bond the end caps to the handrail as shown here. Place the handrail on the bridge and mark the positioning of the parapets. Apply the adhesive in pre-marked areas as shown. Lift the handrail in place and give it a good tap. Use the pre-drilled holes as a guide. Drill the holes for the rivets. Use the rivet gun and add rivets. End the assembly by re-tightening all bolts with the torque values shown on the drawings. You have now successfully assembled a fiber line beam bridge. When lifting the bridge, we recommend using a forklift with extended forks that will cover all beams of the substructure. Alternately, a lifting yoke with straps may be used. 
The finished beam bridge is low in weight, which makes it very easy to handle and transport in pre-assembled form. The low weight of the bridge also reduces the installation time on site, as well as costs on special machinery and cranes. Fiberglass is therefore an obvious choice for installation sites that are hard to access or where rapid construction is required. For example, when working with busy roads or railway lines. Fiberline. Create more with less.